all right you guys hello and welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is having a great sunday so i just went to the grocery to get a few things for the week um and it looks like i got a lot but i think it was only like 80 dollars worth of groceries um and so i'm gonna show you guys what i got and then we are going to do our meal plan for this week um we are trying to do like a stock up so every time we go we will like this time they had the Kraft mac and cheese on sale um so like we're trying to stock up on like hamburger helper mac and cheese um we have a good stock going in the freezer with meat so i didn't get any meat this time um but i'm gonna show you guys what we got um and i also got I'll show you guys this bag next. This is what else we got at Kroger. So it was $115, but they had all their school supply stuff. Super cheap, super cheap, like super cheap. And what was that cabinet open? And um, so we just went ahead and got everything that they had at Kroger that was on Evelyn's school supply list. Um, and it was like 20 bucks. So I'm gonna flip this camera around. I'm gonna show you guys what we got at Kroger. And I'm gonna put it away clean the kitchen a little bit and then we're gonna do our meal plan all right so this is our little grocery haul we got cilantro a couple baked potatoes club crackers my favorite chips we got some rolls milk cosmic brownies some syrup zach one of those um we got pico de gallo and some brown sugar cinnamon spread i really want to try this it was like a dollar 25 and i've want to put it on the rolls and kind of like see how similar it is to texas roadhouse obviously it's not gonna be as good as texas roadhouse but anyway zach wants to do a youtube video where we taste these little pocky sticks like japanese pocky sticks so we got all the flavors that they had so we're gonna do a youtube video on those i got some corn he got some of these desserts he likes to like make strawberry shortcakes with them or something Cove boxes of hamburger helper. We got two that we've never tried before. So it's cheesy Italian and chili macaroni. Some watermelon, cantaloupe. Strawberries were two for five. So he got strawberries for these. And then we got Evelyn some. We got Evelyn some Elsa mac and cheese. We got some biscuits. We got some fajita veggies. Um, and then we stocked up on mac and cheese. And that's all that we got besides Evelyn's school supplies. So I'll put this away and then I will show you guys what all we had to get for Evelyn. And if you need to get school supplies for your kiddos, check out your local Kroger because we got crayons for like 50 cents. So like everything was discounted at like 50% off. Okay, so here's what I got Evelyn for school. Zach picked this out. This was the most expensive thing. I think this was like six bucks, but it's a metal pencil box thing. And Evelyn, me and Zach all love sloth. So Zach picked that out for her. Markers for a dollar. Crayons, 50 cents a pack. These were two bucks. I think these were originally like $9 for 12 glue sticks. She needs 15 for school, but we just got the 12 pack for now. Originally like $9, I think we got it for like three bucks. We got a pack of 18 pencils already sharpened. And we got this notebook for like 79 cents. And we got these for like two bucks. So $20. And all she has to get for school is like, okay, it cut me off for a second. So all we have to get her for school is like the classroom stuff um she has to take like a roll of paper towels like sandwich baggies um like clorox wipes and i think a couple boxes of kleenex so um and she got this lunch box for her birthday and she's gonna she wants to use the same unicorn backpack that she used last year so we're just gonna reuse that again and yeah so evelyn's set for school i'm gonna do the dishes, wipe everything down in the kitchen, um, and try and figure out what to cook this week. I like to scan everything. Um, you know, I just went to the grocery, so I'll scan everything, put that into my cook, cook list app, and it will pop up all these recipes with what I, everything that I've already scanned. So every time, so you download the app, you scan everything in your kitchen one time, and then um as you go to the grocery you scan things as you run out of things like it keeps track like if you say you have seven chicken breasts and you cook with one then it will just automatically update that you have six chicken breasts left 
Like, so it's pretty nice and it gives you all these different recipes to try and cook, but I'm gonna clean the kitchen and then we're gonna do our meal plan and I'm super excited about it. All right, you guys, I'm back. I'm gonna finish the meal plan. I was doing some other things around the house and now I'm like, okay, I need to know what I'm supposed to be cooking for dinner this week. So I went through everything. I do need to run to the store because I forgot the one thing and it's something that I have a hankering for. So I do gotta go to the store and get one thing. Just one thing though. We only forgot one thing. But I'm gonna let you guys know what we're having. So Monday, Evelyn has um, T-ball practice, T-ball game, and then she's got T-ball pictures. So Monday evening, I'm gonna be completely slammed and Zach's not gonna get off work too late. So Monday is gonna be something easy. Cheesy Italian shells, hamburger helper is what it is sometimes. All right, Tuesday, got some steak right here. And we are doing, I got like all the fixings and toppings and stuff in the fridge. We are doing steak street tacos. Um, Wednesday, we are doing rice with some honey garlic chicken. And then Thursday, we are gonna do chicken alfredo. So I got some fettuccine noodles. I got some chicken for it. Wait. Those, wrong chicken, wrong chicken. Um, one second. I didn't, I didn't forget what I needed at the store. I found it. All right. The right chicken for our chicken Alfredo. And Alfredo sauce. So, and then Friday... We are gonna do, these are three chicken tenderloins in here. We are gonna do um, bacon wrapped chicken tenderloins with baked potatoes and corn on the cob. And then on Saturday, we are doing spaghetti. Here's the spaghetti sauce. And then we will make some garlic bread with it. So that's a little meal plan, as you can see. I laid it all out to make sure I had everything. I buy chicken in bulk, so I have to separate it like that, and I thought this was a breast, but these are my chicken tenderloins. I didn't realize it when I grabbed it. They like froze together, but that's the meal plan for this week. Oh, so I'm super excited for this bacon wrapped chicken. But let me show you guys what you season it with. So you season it with some red cayenne pepper, some garlic powder, pepper, salt, and just a little bit of this Tajian to add some spice. So, I'm super excited for that meal. Like, I love the little bacon wrapped chicken. It's just so good. I always leave these cabinets open, you guys. But, that is this week's meal plan. So, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. I am gonna finish running around the house cleaning before Evelyn gets home. And just, I don't know, probably wash my face. I took a shower this morning, so I'm just gonna wash my face, all the things. But yeah, if you guys like this video, please let me know in the comments down below, like the video. Um, and if you enjoy seeing my content, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Adios.